Hi everybody, my name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food on both Facebook and YouTube. Come join! So, it's a little video on self-care. You know, you can't pour anything into your cup if you're empty. If there's nothing to pour into it, you can't. So you need to figure out how it is that you want to take care of yourself. And it's it is funny to take care of yourself if you've been a selfless person. It feels so selfish and oogly and wrong, you know, if you suddenly, if you've been devoted to others every single day from the minute your feet hit the floor at some ungodly hour, like right now it's 2.53 for me, um, just to make it all work, you know, and then and then suddenly you're taking care of yourself and tracking and, you know, preparing all these things. <laughs> you know, I, I always just picture the family of, you know, I just picture these like teenagers or, um, you know, men walking by us as we feverishly um, learn how to t chop up everything or, you know, buy all these little yogurts or maybe even take a picture or, or do this, like me talking, you know, on here. I guess Greg is probably so attuned to it at this point that this is a normal thing that goes on at this house early in the morning. But, you know, when you think of, um, you know, how how you bring this into your household, you know, and what, what, it, it, what it's like, and, you know, how they're, like, walking by and they're rolling their eyes, and, you know, um, it's kind of funny, but then they kind of adjust and then you kind of get used to taking care of yourself and that's a beautiful thing you know I used to when my babies were babies um, you know I used to get up at this time and begin to do my walk so we're talking you know I've been doing this whack-a-jack thing for 40 years um, different parts of it of course I wasn't videotaping to you <laughs> But I did get up at this hour and grabbed my me time. And um, I guess I was always a planner and always had full fridges of what I was going to make. And um, always worried about that. And because I guess, I, you know, I love my leftovers. I love knowing that if I open the fridge, I could still find a meal like as if, right? Um, and so, you know, I learned how to take care of myself. And some of us don't even get taking care of ourselves until maybe we enter a 12-step program or Weight Watchers or some sort of group, maybe even church, um, some sort of group where we're kind of giving, we're given permission and then we give ourselves permission to fill our cup. I mean, there's always that analogy of the um, oxygen coming down from you know, from above when you're in an airplane and you put the mask on first. And they say it's so you don't scare the kids, but it's like if, you know, if you do apply the self-care thing, if you're not getting your oxygen, you will be of no help. And not just that thing that looks probably a little scary to a kid. So how do you fill your cup? What is it that works for you? For a lot of people, it's church. For a lot of people, it's their, it's their Weight Watchers meeting and being around the women and the, the sacredness of walking in and being weighed and, you know, just having your little book with things in it. And then, you know, the Weight Watcher goddess shows up, also known as leader, and you just know that she is just this full, full vessel of just things that she's learned from working for Weight Watchers and being in Weight Watchers and and the people that know her that have been going to that particular Weight Watchers meeting and just adore her and what they're teaching. I don't know if there's any male Weight Watcher leaders, but wouldn't that be kind of cool? And so, and so sometimes we learn from watching others we, that it's okay to take care of ourselves. It's okay to, um, and I'm not talking the diva-esque ones where, you know, they'll die if they don't get their nails done by five. I'm talking about, and those of you that pretty much are in my tribe probably understand this, you know, we want to take care of ourselves. We want to fill our cups before we head out for the day. 
and know that we, we are um, taken care of, you know, and um, it's not like anybody's going to rush in and, and chop and dice and pack your little bags and make it all good for you and pick out your outfits and things like that. You learn that you can do these things because if you've been hiding under stretchy pants and big overtops with um, stains going down the front of them and now you're starting to get a shape and your head is starting to feel better too. You know, taking care of ourselves takes a little more effort and um, maybe it does involve getting your nails done or your hair cut or streaks put in your hair or facials or, or any of those you know, outward things, a massage that makes you feel good, but you know that once you start reading labels and going into the stores and allowing a little extra time and not just buying same old, same old from just that dialing it in part of your life, what a difference it makes. And the time, you know, when you think of what you're investing with time and energy and willingness, it's such a big portion, isn't it? The willingness to learn all about nutrition, the program, portions, uh, tips and skills that work for successful people that you just you, you just want to move into their house and just see how they do it. <laughs> and it's so much fun. You know, I admit I get off on how other people do their little routines with food and what they buy and what their fridges look like, you know. And I know that some of you, you know, have seen the insides of my fridge. I've got the downstairs fridge, which is pretty much full now of Kerrygold butter and um, Pete and Jerry's eggs, uh, the coconut milk, Greg's almond milk, and um, my Fiesta bowls filled with leftovers, my Fai yogurt, and um, a lot of cabbage cheeses and some other raw cheeses. And, um, and then um, the onions, the organic onions. And so um, that's what my fridge, oh, and then the two containers of organic baby spinach or, and organic baby lettuce. And then when you look upstairs, you know, it's what I work out of. You know, it's got, right now it has the fat bomb that I'm going to have for tonight. It has my Fiesta Bowl for tonight already made with, um, I love my bowls. Um, it's, so it's got a serving of roasted in olive oil uh, Brussels sprouts. It has steamed organic carrots. It has steamed organic broccoli. And it has um, roasted in coconut oil um, organic cauliflower. And on top of that, I have three ounces of Nature's Promise organic, or Nature's Promise grass-fed um, tips. Three ounces of them on top. And it, I can't wait, but alas, I have to wait. And um, my lunch is already packed. I've got my little yogurt, um, coconut oil, ground flaxseed, ground hemp and flaxseed, and Fai yogurt with a half a tablespoon of peanut butter and a half a tablespoon of almond butter. And um, that's my lunch along with a chopped salad with chopped pears in it. And... Um, I'll have one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, also known as Evu, on it. And then my organic berries. And life is grand. It doesn't get better than that. Right now it's my Bulletproof Coffee. And because it's now 301, it'll carry me through. And so how do you, how do you fill your vessel so you can pour it out not only to take care of others during the day, but you can pour it out for yourself. You know, I used to call it my energy pie. And I had to do a, a graph, I guess. It must have been some wellness class I was in in college. And I did the percentages of, like, what, what time takes, you know, um, what hours of the day. And so, you know, a huge part of the energy pie was required, of course, in getting out of the house in the morning getting to, um, at that point, they were probably teenage boys up and out. You know, the laundry, the food, what's going to be for dinner, what's packing lunches and things like that, getting out the door, maybe starting a load of laundry, maybe throwing it in the dryer, and then getting the day going. And then, you know, the eight hours of work and then the energy that was needed to deal 
with that all day and then coming home and that little one more final boost and push. You know, I find I'm mostly nonverbal when I get home from work now. It's just how I am. Because I kind of go into work and say, I want to give it my all and I do give it my all. And, you know, I love my job and, and I'm, I'm as committed to that as I am to these videos, as I am to my self-care, as I am to my food that I eat. And so, you know, it, it's a real simple, simple um, existence, but it works for me. You know, I'm, I'm not out at night. Um, I don't want to be out at night, so I don't go out at night unless, unless I absolutely have to. And um, so I know how long my energy has to last. And once I get in the door and I put on my sweats, you know, the, the, the shaking it off of the day begins and I'm quiet. I prepare dinner. We eat, and it's just a quiet night. You know, I let information in. I'm not, there's nothing left of me to come back out. And I restore with my sleep. And then, pop, here's the Energizer Buddy again. And so, that's how it works for me. But, you know, you can't pour from an empty cup. You just need to fill your cup. And, and try not to leave the house just with your cup half filled for the day. Because... You know, you know what happens, and you don't want that to happen. So take care of yourself. You know, load your waters, load your um, your healthy your healthy foods that you're going to have for the day. Just like filling the gas tank of your car. You know, you wouldn't leave on a long distance trip without filling that tank. Well, consider your day a long distance day. So fill your cup. It makes you pleasant, and we all want to be pleasant, especially if we work with others, right? Have a wonderful day. Did you track? Did you pack? Did you snack? I'll see you the next time. My name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food. Bye-bye for now.